Hello everybody and welcome back to Crimson Ranch, where we're gonna be good people this time. <laughs> we're gonna try another playthrough. Um, I'm gonna try being a quote-unquote better person and seeing if that helps me at all. So I won't make you guys watch the entire game again because we've already gone through it. So we're just gonna get to the parts where I make some choices and see if that changes things. Cool? Cool. All right, so first choice we get is look in the box or don't open the box. Um, so we're not gonna open the box. I don't know if this is gonna matter. Probably not. Yeah, no, okay. Same achievement or same ending regardless. Yeah, I figured that one probably wasn't gonna do anything. I think the next one is when I slapped the guy, so yeah. Okay, we're about to get to the part where we uh, you know, just smack a guy. <laughs> Boy, shut him up already. Uh, we're gonna do nothing. See if Mr. Gray just hates me. Shut up. Where are we going? The village is this way. No questions. Oh, okay, so I don't hit him. I just, yeah, I just tell him to shut up and it works. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, so far our game has been the exact same. Okay, well that was Dr. Grisman. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do our, our surmising at the end, but... Again, so far, everything has gone the exact same. So I feel like maybe the different endings happen towards the end. Probably when I choose whether to let Amelia fix my hand or not. <laughs> it's probably where it stems from. These games kind of seem to do that. Like, they'll do the multiple choice or the multiple ending towards the end of the game. Okay, we got to this point. And next choice is going to be whether or not I want to burn the building, which doesn't seem to affect what actually happens, because I know we clicked burn the building before and we still didn't, but... Uh, you know, this might end up giving me a better ending. So I'm telling you, they're still in there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Refuse. I mean, I think that was still the same cutscene. Hey, what are you doing? Give it back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is still the exact same. Okay. Well, we're getting close to the end anyhow, and I think the part where it actually matters what choices I do, so... Woo! Okay, so we made it back here, and I got the wrench, and I haven't done the whole thing where it tells you or getting the silver key, like dousing the fire, getting the silver key to tell you to turn this right, right, and then left. So I don't know if this actually is going to affect anything, but... Oh. Is it actually not gonna work? Huh. Or does it randomize it every time? What if I did like a left, left, right? Oh, interesting. Okay, so it does make you go through the whole thing regardless. How fascinating. So I guess you can't keep the bucket full of water and not get the silver key and keep the fire. Interesting. Okay, so from this point on, again, nothing has been different <laughs> this whole time, but um, we're gonna try selecting, like, please help my hand, essentially. <laughs> clean the wound. Is it really necessary? Let her clean the wound. Ah, sorry. Because that's the only thing I... Skip dialogue? No? Where's your uncle? Okay. Interesting that it lets me skip the dialogue. Does it know that I'm playing a new game? Hmm. I found your book. Um, yeah, I did look at the uh, achievements. So it looks like there's three endings. We got the worst ending, and then there's a bad ending, and there's a good ending. <laughs> but we got like the worst of the worst. It was like the ultra bad ending or something. It was kind of hilarious. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna play through here. There's the book. She destroys the book. But yeah, I haven't been able to do anything differently. I can't sequence break. Um, yeah. Selling it to Mr. Gray. Okay. It'll catch us. It will if we stay here. We're in a closed space. Come on, I'm not going to leave you. Okay, let's go. Okay, so from here, let's make a save. Save number three. So we got our wound cleaned. Save number two is before I had to choose any of that. Right, and these are all going to scooch their way over. And then we're just gonna leave. Come on, what are you waiting for? My hand, too heavy. 
Leave the backpack. I can't. We're gonna leave the backpack. Because last time we didn't, and I mean, he still made me go back and get it, so... Bring it to me. Okay, so this is still all the same as it was last time. But, okay, let's do save four, I guess. Uh, it was in here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was past the, the door. Okay, then there was all this. So I, yeah, there wasn't really anything different to do here. What was it? Two, one, two, three, I think. There we go. Okay, backpack. Is there anything else up here? Just things that are gonna come chase me, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And we're running, and we're running, and we're running, and we're running. I don't know if anything's actually chasing me, I'm just kind of assuming there is a thing. Okay, so yeah, we get the backpack. Oh, that's a nice little jump scare. Didn't get that last time, I guess, because I didn't go that way. Okay, save there after getting the backpack. And then we leave. Skip the dialogue, yes, sure. Because we have done this already. I'm glad the game has realized that we've done this already. Okay, ugh, where are we? Okay, so Amelia's here. I don't know, Caleb brought you here. Are you feeling better? Yes. I managed to stop the bleeding, but you'll need a few days to recover. You sure it's a safe place? Uh, you slept for three days. So I think this is different, because wasn't it last time, like, it wasn't Caleb the one telling me this, and then Amelia was laying down and she was dead? <laughs> where, where's the book? We had to leave it there. It got burned. That's for the best, I, I guess. Are you okay? More or less. Good. And how is he doing? We haven't spoken all that much. He's just trying to keep himself busy. What about you? Do you have some place to go? Nope, apparently not. It's okay. Neither do I. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. I gotta think. Yeah, because I guess I don't get my money from Mr. Gray. Wait, what? The money! I got the money! Oh, I guess we do get the money. We can make it! We can finally make it! To Australia! Where my sister is! Okay, happy ending. Do you really want this? Oh, okay, I guess I go to Australia then. Of course, that was our plan, remember? I want you to be happy, that's all. What if you won't like it there? What if it won't be any different from here? But it was your wish. I made a promise. This was never about the place. Nope. Oh. Do you see them, too? Okay, hold up. Caleb and Amelia. Okay. So showing their family. So there's Amelia's mom and dad, who are very dead. Uh, Caleb with Shayla, who is dead, and his mom and dad, who are dead. They need you, Ian. Okay, so like Emma's being like, hey, they need you. I'm sorry about your sister and your parents. Here, it must be hers. Oh, that's right, because I found Shayla's doll earlier. So I wonder if the quote unquote bad ending is if you just don't pick up Shayla's doll. Um, because yeah, in my achievement list, it's when we picked this up and we got that dolly achievement, it, when I went and looked, it was like, pick up Shayla's doll. So I'm assuming if you don't have this, maybe it gives you the bad ending. Thank you. And this is hopefully going to get us the very good ending. I think we should go north, to Canada. It's a perfect place for fugitives like us. I heard there's an underground railroad that would help us to pass the frontier without getting noticed. Caleb, you'll go with us, right? How is Canada? Cold, but kind of beautiful. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> okay, Ian's onto it. Lots of trees, big lakes and rivers. Can you, can you just give me a few minutes, alone? Of course. Something else before we go. Uh, oh, throw the letter into the fire? I guess so. Emma's letter? Is that what we wanted? I'm assuming so. Achievement unlocked, family. Okay, that is the very good ending. Oh, getting some lag here. Okay, thanks game. Load me in. Hi guys, we're gonna go to Canada. Okay, I can push them away this time in case I get stuck somewhere. Let's go to Canada. I guess. Uh, up? Is up the correct way? Oh no. Down? Down. 
Ooh, my game is lagging right now, come on. You can load better than that. Give it a second. No, you guys are very stuck. Okay, uh, can I like get you to move? Oh gosh, okay. We're just gonna go this way and hopefully I don't have to go the other way. I was stuck. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. I mean, this is where Caleb and I were walking in the other ending. And then it was just like, ending B. Here we go. Ending A. Hooray! Okay, this is the good ending. The very good ending. Um, yeah. Alright, so yeah, again, I'm guessing that the bad ending, which is like the middle ending, is if you don't have Shayla's doll the whole time, which you pick up in the very beginning parts of the game. So I'm not going to go back and do that because that sounds like pain. I'm assuming then at that point it would just be you and Amelia maybe, and then Caleb probably just doesn't come with you, and it's like a mid-ending. But yeah, that uh, that should be the good ending of Crimson Ranch. So yeah, I mean, again, really good game. Quite like the visuals, as I mentioned. Um, in terms of ranking it against the other games that A.S. Marx has done, I mean, Dead Dreams is still my favorite. Um, Grobu? Do I like Grobu better than this? I think I do. Grobu still just had a very solid story and it was a little bit easier to follow. This one's still a little, like even playing through the second time and kind of seeing the story again, it was like, eh. Like Dr. Grissom, Grisman, uh wrote the book, apparently, like the evil book, and then, you know, it's making people do bad things. But um, yeah, this one was, yeah, it was all right. I do care about the characters. They were good. I'm glad, Ian, you can choose to be a good person. <laughs> and it's kind of nice that at the end you guys, like, gather and you become your own little family. I like that. You're kind of just starting anew, going to Canada, starting a new life for yourself. But, uh, yeah, so I would, if I had to definitively rank them in terms of my favorites, I would go Dead Dreams, uh, Garobu, Crimson Ranch, and then Hedera. Not a huge fan of Hedera. But yeah, that is the end of Crimson Ranch. And we did pretty much everything. Didn't get the mid-ending again, but wouldn't be too hard to get and probably not adding too much. So, until A.S. Marks makes any more of these games, hopefully they do, I would love to play them. But in the meantime, this has been Crips and Ranch. So, thank you guys for joining me through this series, and I'll see you next week.